Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Friday, January 13th, Friday the 13th. Do you guys remember that movie? I think it was in like 1980. I wasn't allowed to watch it when it first came out cause I was only like six, but uh, I did watch it eventually and holy moly, like very scary for its day, right? Okay, so I did get some stitching and diamond painting done yesterday, so I have updates on those. But first, my gratitude list for today. Number one, perforated paper, 18 counts specifically. Um, I find the stitching always looks so crisp on perforated paper because on 18 count, I tend to use one strand and it just looks so clean and crisp and I love that look. Number two, Bill. And what I'm grateful for today for him is that he always makes dinner. Now I always clean up, but he always makes dinner. And it got started because some nights I'll work until six or 6.30. But even when I have short days, like yesterday my job was short, which is one of my gratitude things on here, he still makes dinner. So I am very grateful for that, absolutely. Um, number three, gadgets for crafts, like washi tape, needle minders, bobbin holder, which this is my favorite bobbin holder that I have. This is from Modern Hoopla, so I will link her website down below. But it will hold, now this one is made to hold the pip and chip bobbins. She has one that will hold the cardboard bobbins. And this will hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this will hold 12 colors. And it. this is actually magnetic. You can put your uh, needle on it if you want to, but it sits so very nice on my table and it looks just so nice and neat. Yeah, love that. The gadgets, absolutely love the gadgets. Number four, I have five things on my, on my list today. Number four, uh, short work day yesterday. So I actually wrote in my journal because you know, one of the Recurring themes throughout the Bible is you don't have because you don't ask, right? But you have to ask with the right heart. Like you can't ask with a greedy heart. Do you know what I mean? So I have been writing in my journal after my gratitude list, like the things I would like to have happen that day. And yesterday I had, um, wrote, I also ask that audio for today is good and the job goes smooth and that it ends early so I can do my video because yesterday I did not have time before work to do the video. And it did. I was done work by one o'clock yesterday. So it works. Asking works. So um, I was very thankful for that. So that's why that went on my list for today. And then lastly, you guys, my subscribers, my viewers. Without you, there would be no reason to do the channel, right? Um, I love talking about diamond painting and crafting and stitching and all of that and sharing it with all of you. And especially when you have so many choices to watch floss tube and diamond painting and that you still come here to choose to watch me. So I am very, very grateful for that every single day. Okay, so last night when I sat down to stitch, because I was able to do some diamond painting for dinner, I'll stitch in the evening. I like when I can do both in the same day because then I make progress, obviously. I sat down to stitch last night on my Hey Sweetheart piece by Primrose Cottage Stitches, and I just wasn't feeling it on the fabric. I wasn't. And I said, I haven't stitched on perforated paper in a long time. Let me pull a piece out. 18 count white, because I mean, this piece is stitched on white. Let me pull it out and just cut it and see. Oh my, I love it so much. So here is my progress. I was able to get, okay, so this is 18 count perforated paper. This is washi tape that I just put around the edges because what I find happens is my hand will get caught on the edge or thread, 
When you have washi tape, it kind of makes that not happen. Plus it gives it a little decorative decoration, right? So I did the very first row. Doesn't it look so good? I only used one strand of DMC. Now, on the left here, right here and a couple over here, there are isolated stitches. If you remember when I was stitching, I had originally started the Halloween letters on perforated paper and uh, the cauldron, the bubbles, I was going to glue diamonds. And I actually did that on a piece where it had stars in the sky that I stitched on paper. Stitching on perforated paper is a little bit different beast than stitching on fabric. You have to be very careful of not carrying your threads because you will be able to see it through the holes in the paper. So when isolated stitches come up, I don't like doing isolated stitches on perforated paper. So I am going to put some pink AB diamonds around there. I think that'll give it a little bling bling, right? So I think we're, the next part that I'm going to do on this though, is I'm going to go down, I'm gonna do this row, only because I cut the paper a little bit bigger than I needed, but I really wanna cut it like to size. So I wanna know, as soon as I get done this row down here, I'll know how much I can cut off the bottom. Do you know what I mean? Because that's also the wonderful thing about stitching on perforated paper is finishing is so exponentially easier than with fabric because all I do is I will back this with cardstock. I will use my sticker maker, my creatives, Zyron Creative Station to put cardstock on the back of it. And then I can just then stick it onto any one of the finishing forms that I have. And it just, it is, it, it's so much easier <laughs> finishing with paper than it is with fabric. So enjoying that very much. I forgot how much I love stitching on perforated paper. And I have a ton of it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, the last thing I'm gonna show you is my diamond painting progress because I actually do have progress. I did have a pattern come in the mail yesterday. I needed a skein of, I'm almost out of 321 and I did not feel like riding to Michaels just to try to get one skein of floss and them not having it possibly. So when I went to one, two, three stitch, I'm like, I have to order a pattern to justify the 399 shipping, right? So cute embroidery by Kate, Kate Stitcher on Facebook. She has a bunch of these seasonal patterns that have a mini dachshund in them, and it reminds me of my sweet baby Layla. So I got Hello Spring. Is that not so cute? Are you kidding me right now? Look at that. Cute, cute, cute. I love the border. Yeah, love that. So got that in the mail. And then I have a new floss tuber that I want to shout out to you guys. I watched his video this morning. Um, Johnny Saxon. So if you have not heard of him, he had his first floss tube video up six days ago and it just came up in my recommended feed last night. So I bookmarked it in my watch later list and you know how you just, you know, when you click on someone's video, you have to kind of click with them, like the way they talk, the sound of their voice, what they're showing. He is from Australia. So you automatically love the accent. At least I do. Um, but he, he speaks very well. He has a lot of projects. Um, he actually loves dimensions kits. And he had said that, you know, he feels like he's in the minority with that. But, you know, I thought to myself, first of all, everybody can like what they like. That's the great thing about this craft. If everyone liked doing the same thing, it would be pretty boring to watch all these videos, right? That's exactly what I think. So I will link his floss tube channel down below. Go give him a watch and a subscribe if you would like. He only has, he has less than 500 subscribers right now. Like I said, he's only been on there for six days. So, but his projects, gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. So the last thing is going to be my diamond painting progress. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. So last night I was in here diamond painting and when Bill was making dinner, you know, he had to wait for like the oven to preheat and stuff like that. So 
he came in here and sat down and I said, do you want to try putting down a couple diamonds? Because he has yet to try diamond painting. He did. He did like a little section and I was like, he was so cute. It was so cute to see him sit down and do it. And he was like, there, I finally did it. And I said, well, what'd you think? And he's like, yeah, it's all right. He'll never, I don't think he could ever sit still for a craft like that. Um, I mean, he has sat down in his shed and made like fishing lures and things like that. But, but yeah, I finally got him to put down some diamonds. He had not, um, he kept just, you know, refusing before. So, uh, I'll show you the little section that he did on April. All right. So I'm going to flip you around, show you the part. All right. So I got all of the black done, but I also got some more of the hair done. He did this section and he did all of these right here. It's coming along. And if you notice, you see all those blue, they're magnetic push pins. They look like this. They have the earth magnet in there because remember I have bar magnets all along my light pad. I bought, here's the set that I got. Oh, where are they? It was, they have all different colors. I want to say it was $9.99. It's not focusing because, there we go. Um, yeah, all different colors. And I really like them. I wanted something like that. So when I have to move the diamond painting to do another section, they're very easy to just pick up and move. But yeah, so... Isn't she so gorgeous? Um, I am hopeful that Bill is still going to be playing poker tomorrow night. So if that's the case, I am going to be diamond painting in here for a long stretch. I already have a plan. So I hope and pray that it comes to fruition. So we will see. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope you guys have had a good week and that you're having a good Friday. I will see you guys again on Monday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.